What's up, Hoop fans? We're back with another video analysis. In today's detailed breakdown, we turn our attention to the set plays employed by Panathinaikos in their road victory over Alba Berlin. Our analysis will particularly highlight the intricacies of their spread pick and roll execution, examining the reads and decisions that underscored their success. But before we jump into the details, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your fellow basketball enthusiasts. All right, let's get into it. In this opening play, we see Panathinaikos executing a cleverly designed sequence, starting with an Iverson cut that seamlessly transitions into a side pick and roll. This initial movement, however, is a strategic decoy. As Mitoglo sets the screen for Grant, the real action is just unfolding. Grant swiftly offloads the ball to Slukas, setting the stage for the primary play, a middle pick and roll involving Lasort. Here, the focus shifts to Kumaje. Initially positioned to counter the decoy, he now finds himself needing to quickly reorient his defense in response to the actual threat. It's in this moment of transition that Slukas makes his move, exploiting Kumaje's lateral adjustment to drive through and effortlessly score. It's crucial to also observe Olinde's positioning in relation to Grigonis. Olinde is acutely aware of Grigonis's shooting prowess, which effectively ties him close to Grigonis throughout the play. The spread pick and roll, a signature play from coach Adaman's playbook, is frequently executed with remarkable efficiency by Efez the previous year. Shooting 50% from two coming in, but misses that one from close proximity. It's a sea of green over on that far side, near the basket that Panathinaikos are attacking, and in which Kostas Slukas is scoring. In Panathinaikos' next possession, they initiate another pick and roll. This time, we see a defensive shift with Olinde transitioning from guarding Grigonis to act as a low tagger against Lessord. However, Olinde loses sight of Grigonis in the process. Seizing this opportunity, Grigonis relocates to the top of the key. Spotting the open sharpshooter, Slukas delivers a sharp kickout pass, setting up Grigonis for an uncontested three-pointer. Slukas, he's missed a couple of games this season. Panathinaikos haven't had the full roster available yet. Grigonis knocks down the triple on his return to Berlin. Now let's turn our attention to a neat play where Panathinaikos sets up a down screen that flows into a Miami action. That's a handoff, followed by a ball screen. Here's where things get interesting. Alba decides to play Slukas under the screen. Noticing this, Balcerowski quickly sets a rescreen. Seizing the moment, Slukas doesn't hesitate. He pulls up and nails a three-pointer. And just one more thing to note. Watch Olinde hesitating again to jump in for help, mindful of his assignment on Grigonis, who's known for his sharpshooting. Far as well. He's 29 years of age, Johannes Tiemann, but he's become a superstar just this season. Slukas drilling the triple for Panathinaikos. In the following clip, we observe Lessort setting a drag screen for Grant. The defense leaves the left side open, prompting Grant to drive left towards the basket. This move draws Tiemann's attention, creating an opening. Grant capitalizes on this, passing to Mitoglu, who's well positioned for an easy basket. Johannes Tiemann closes the gap to two. Making amends. In this play, we see a shuffle screen the screener action designed for Grigonis, while also setting up a low post option for Mitoglu. As Protsita tries to disrupt the low post entry, he loses track of Grigonis prompting Wetzel to switch, which leads to a mismatch with Balcerowski at the low post. Protsida, challenged by Balcerowski's height, opts to front him. Here, Mitoglu makes a flash cut, which doesn't create a direct advantage but offers Slukas an option. However, Slukas chooses not to utilize Mitoglu's positioning, instead lobbing the ball to Balcerowski. The ensuing double team on Balcerowski opens up space, and he smartly offloads back to Mitoglu, who's now in a favorable position. On the weak side, Panathinaikos forgot about him. Alba within one. 
it's Lucas. Oh, Balsarovsky, the high catch and pass without bringing it down, and Medoglo does his thing again. In our next highlight, we see Panathinaikos employing again a screen-the-screener entry, leading into a pick-and-roll between Gregonis and Balsarowski. Like the first one, this action seems more like a setup or decoy, paving the way for a subsequent pick-and-roll with the main ball handler, Slukas. Alba Berlin goes under the screen while their big man hedges out, which creates an opening on the right lane. Slukas, with a keen eye for exploiting such gaps, drives into this space. As the defense converges to stop him, he smartly passes to Balsarowski, who draws a foul. Notably, watch how Slukas signals to Mitoglu, indicating he should position himself in the corner. This would set him up for a potential open three or to take advantage of a closeout attack situation. His first appearance of the season, just taking it at the two meters 15, Balsarowski. Three-point game, three minutes to play in the opening quarter. Here's Lucas, very influential early on. Balsarovsky reeling it in, foul on the floor, only Alba's second of the game. Check out this next clip where we've got another spread pick and roll in action. Alba's defense goes for the hedge again. This time, Gregonis takes the cue and drives left. Keep your eye on Bean here. He totally loses track of Mitoglu. Sneakily, Mitoglu cuts right behind him and throws down a dunk. That's as many as he'd made all season before tonight. He came here only two of 14 from downtown. Oh, what a pass! Greg Gonis! In this possession, Panathinaikos sets up a clever play, starting with a pitch back, leading into a weak side pin down for Gregonis. Watch Gregonis come off that screen. He spots a gap right down the main lane. Without missing a beat, he attacks the basket, driving through the defense and drawing a foul. Five perfect points for him, two steals as well. So many players having a positive influence on this game with so much scoring, that's a foul from behind on Alindi. Next up, we have a textbook example of spread pick and roll execution by Panathinaikos. The play kicks off with a stagger to get the ball to Vildoza. He then orchestrates the pick and roll with Balcharowski. Keep an eye on Kumadze here. He drops back a bit, trying to disrupt Vildoza's rhythm. But Vildoza's a step ahead, slipping a beautiful bounce pass to Balsarowski on the short roll. And then it happens. Balsarowski takes flight and throws down a dunk. The weak side taggers can't intervene in time partly because they're tied up guarding Panathinaikos' sharpshooters. Their center Matthias Lesor right now because he picked up two in the opening three minutes, or at least his opening three minutes on court. Mitoglu's picked up a second since. Big Balsarovsky one-handed hammer. Here's another sharp play from Panathinaikos, again featuring Vildoza in a short roll execution. Watch Vildoza as he lifts for a three, drawing Kumadze out. In a smooth move, Vildoza then dishes the ball off to Balsarovsky. As the low tagger jumps in to challenge Balsarovsky, there's a brief moment where a kick out to Slukas seems like the obvious move. But Balsarovsky's got other ideas. He's in the zone and opts for the dunk. Here he is again, just clear the runway. Get out of his way. Balsarovsky punishing and one. Now we're looking at another well executed pick and roll by Slukas. This time, Alba opts for an over-the-screen and soft hedge coverage. Keep an eye on Samar in the rearview pursuit as Slukas maneuvers off Balsarowski's screen. Notice how the low tagger sinks deep to help out, opening up an opportunity. Slukas capitalizes on this, effortlessly skipping the ball to Grant on the perimeter. Grant, who's been solid from beyond the arc this season with a 46.7% shooting rate, gets a clean look and fires off an open three. Two points per game in the Euroleague. 
Three-point shot for Grant is good. He's been pulling the strings and then he pulls the trigger. Finishing with the video, let's also take a quick look at some standout plays from this match. Spinuli's action for Kendrick Nunn. In his debut with the Greens, Nunn comes off a down screen under the basket, followed by a handoff. He drives left and scores with a smooth floater. Balsarovsky looking for Nunn. Says he's here in the EuroLeague and in Greece to win titles and the former NBA All-Rocky first team gets his first score. Slukas's mid-range. Watch Slukas execute a slick left pull-up mid-range shot, deftly maneuvering against Kumaja's drop defense. Horns zoom into Miami action. Although Alba's defense initially halts this complex play, the Greens move the ball, eventually finding an open three. Grant to Vildoza pick and roll. Witness a seamless drive and kick from Grant to Vildoza culminating in a precise spot-up three-pointer. Side pick and roll by Balcerowski. Balcerowski smartly punishes the low tagger with a kick out to Vildoza, who nails an open corner three. Drag re-screen for Vildoza. Vildoza continues his hot streak, executing yet another three-pointer after a drag re-screen. He's four for four in this game truly on fire.